Hello, now I'm going to give a short explanation about my GeoGebra project. First of all, my project is based on a Da Vinci's invention. As many of you know, Da Vinci was an Italian polymath whose interest was focused on a lot of different areas. The invention I have chosen is a giant ballista that he designed. Nevertheless, I haven't studied the functioning of the ballista, but a parabolic launch with air friction. I have used seven variables, the throwing angle, the constant, the mass of the arrow, the friction coefficient of the air, the lengthening of the spring, which on this occasion is the lengthening of the rope, the gravity, and the distance of the island. Then we have got some intermediate calculations, which include the initial speed of the arrow, the horizontal and the vertical component of the initial speed, the horizontal and the vertical component of the speed, and the time when the arrow reaches the distance. According to the statement of the problem, our goal is that when the arrow reaches the distance, it has to be less than 2 meters high. The result shows us what is the height of the arrow at this moment. On this occasion, it is 0.3 meters high so we have achieved our goal. Then we have got two other calculations, the position of the arrow at every moment and the position of the backside of the arrow at every moment. The difference between them is that the first one shows the position of the front side of the arrow at every moment and the other one shows the position of the back side of the arrow. These two equations are necessary for the movement in this simulator. Here, under the other equations, we have got in purple four more equations which show the position of the balloon and the bottle. We can also show and hide information with these two buttons here. If we press the first one, the statement of the problem will be shown, and if we press it again, it will be hidden. If we press the second one, it will be shown the image of the original design of the ballista. And if we press it another time, it will be hidden. Then we have got another two buttons whose function can be easily deduced. If we press start, the time will begin to run and the arrow will move. Under the picture, there are two texts that show the two components of the position of the arrow. If we want to stop the arrow, we only have to press the stop button. It is interesting to see what happens if we change the variables. For example, if we change the variable alpha, we can see that the orientation of the ballista will change. If we change the D variable, the distance between the shore and the island will increase or decrease. If we change the K variable, the arrow will go farther or closer, as we can see. If we change G variable, the range of the arrow will increase or decrease. If we increase B, the friction of the air will be higher, and the range will be lower. If we increase the mass, the arrow will be heavier, and the ballista will need more strength to move it, so the range will be lower. Finally, if we change L, we can see that the size of the ballista will increase or decrease, which will also affect to the range of the ballista. Furthermore, at the left side of the screen, we have got algebraic site, where we can see all the points, segments, vectors, images, and other things that appear in the graphic site. Here we have got the vector that I have used as an arrow. Therefore, I have used the point A as the origin point of the vector. And then I have introduced lengthening as the unit of the vector and the arctangent of the division of the vertical component of the speed between the horizontal component of the speed as the direction of the vector. Well, that was everything I had to explain about my project. Thanks for watching this video and goodbye.